artists. Oh my gosh. There all, go. all the card art is so good. <laughs> so Anna, I know you took point on Zuko. So what was it like working on the collaboration and, and bringing Zuko to life in game? Oh my gosh. So I am a huge Avatar fan. Um, this is really a dream come true for me. I've been like a fan since it came out. <laughs> um, I've watched it like nine times. So it's crazy. I, Oh, it was, it was just nuts. So I was animation point on Zuko. Um, the team did a really great job adapting Susano's animations to fit. And, oh, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't have words. It's to so good. <laughs> and yep, there we go. We've got Pawn, our loyal driver in game. And Anna, I'll let you take it away as we go through the abilities. Just kind of talk about some of the animation work that you guys put into the skin. Sure. So... Um, Susano originally just has one sword, so something that we wanted to do was incorporate two swords for Zuko, since he does use the dual swords. Um, so I actually went in and updated an animation uh, by our friend Jim, who's now on Paladins, and added that second sword in the slash for the in-hands. And it's very, very quick, but I believe it's also in his one. Um, he also has it in a bunch of emotes as well. but. Uh, Austin killed it with the effects for this. It's so cool, um, especially that ult, <laughs> uh, which I'm excited for that one too, since we updated the animation there. There we go, and that fire looks so cool. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, every time I see it, I get so oh. excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. And I'm just waiting for Pawn to fire this ultimate ability. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that we tried, especially on the animation team, and I think across the the Avatar team in, in general, we um, tried to incorporate as much reference as we could from the actual show. Uh, so this was the ult is an animation that Zuko does when he fights Azula at the very end, and it was so cool to like frame by frame um, that animation. I just oh, I had so much fun. <laughs> For I'm sure. so and impressed with how much research yeah. the art team did. They, they, you know, a lot of people on the team were already big fans of the show, but many others who were who were just learning about it got really well familiarized with the show. Oh, this this special emote. Yes. So Victoria, our animator, did this one. This is his VXG emote. Um, the it's you know eight directional, so you can just fly around with your fire daggers. Super cool. Um, that one was harder to think of what to do for Zuko since he doesn't do that in the show. But we figured, you know, he eventually, he goes on to be such an experienced firebender. He more than likely learns how to do something like this. <laughs> um, it was kind of, that was yeah, really sure. fun to play with. Yeah, and I know all the emotes are new. Uh, apparently all the victory and defeat screens are new for all of these skins. All of them have VXGs, and I believe all of them have specific death animations as well. Uh, tons of work went into it. Uh, I do want to preface before we head into the voice pack lines that uh, just tons of work that goes into these crossovers, especially for a one that's, you know, of this magnitude. and tons of different difficulties that we went into working with Nickelodeon here. We weren't able to work with the original voice actors for Zuko and Aang. We were able to work with the original voice actor for Korra. Um, but Nickelodeon was with us every step of the way. They helped us cast actors. They were there directing. Uh, so it was really awesome to have great partners in them in order to get these skins finished up and out to you guys. Yeah, definitely. I challenge you to an Agni Kai. Firebending in and of itself is not something to fear, but if you don't respect it, it'll chew you up and spit you out like an angry Komodo rhino. Cool. So that wraps it up for Zuko Susano. Anna, is there anything else that you wanted to show off? Because I know you put in a ton uh, of work and you took point on this one. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just really excited for everybody to get in there and like play his do his emotes um his recall that louis did is amazing the taunt emote that tori did is fantastic um so definitely just you know i hope you guys really enjoy like aj said we put a lot of research into the different you know things that we picked for like the littlest things like abilities as well um so definitely the taunts claps waves are all completely new too right 
Yep, uh, all yep. of it is new for him. Yep. We honestly, these are so beyond tier four, and we don't even—they weren't even really in quite what we'd call a tier five. We just started calling them god tier around the studio. That's what we call right, them. That's yeah. how, these are essentially brand new characters that happen to have the abilities of of gods and smite. Like they're the some of the craziest skins we've ever done, and they—they they look so cool. I can't wait to show off the next ones. All right, let's move on right. to the next one, Cora Scotty, and. I am super excited for this. I'm a big core fan. Oh, we've got <laughs> Naga by her side as well. Got the card art. Naga, the trusty polar bear dog. Uh, this is super awesome. I love how our artists were able to adapt to the show's style. And like, so this, these 2D illustrations, their card arts, these are brand new illustrations by Hyra Studios. And these models, you know, our team working to, to reference them and making sure they look like the show. And they look straight out of the show. It's amazing. Yeah, Casey did an amazing job on the characters and the card art. And then Anna, um, one of our other artists, did an amazing, like an amazing job, both of them as a team. Uh, she did the backgrounds and there's just so much detail and it really does feel like they're from the show, which is really cool. It's already a good joke in the Smite community that Calder almost feels like a god of his own. But when you see this <laughs> Naga Calder coming at you, oh, you're definitely so going to agree. <laughs> and I'll let oh Anna kind of talk about what went into making sure Naga was able to fit uh, onto this rig. But he's much bigger than uh, Calder. Yeah, oh my gosh. So um, Ali was our point on animation for... Uh, Cora and Naga and she did such an amazing job so much went into especially like the proportions for Naga if you can see her legs her front legs are so much bigger because she's a polar bear dog she's not just a dog so we had to go through and adjust all of her different animations to make sure that they fit the original Calder animations as well as she does have some new animations too um, which is really fun and exciting um, for Cora herself we actually worked a lot with this water rig that you can see she throws for her in hands and it kind of yeah when she's running around it appears in her idol and uh when she jumps up and down that was a really really hard technical challenge for our team um it was a rig in itself which we had to do a lot of back and forth um, with our rigging department uh, shout outs to Lindsay and pamela they were so amazing to work with and it's just like so much it's such a silly thing like a little water rig but so much hard work <laughs> went into making it look cool and i love how brock used it in the in hands uh rather than scotty throwing her spear like she does cora water bends that um yeah. that water which is so cool <laughs> and it, it's important sure. to note that um Korra is an avatar, so you know um, Zuko's moves were all fire themed. But specifically for the Korra skin, we specifically wanted to highlight bending of multiple elements throughout her kit. So um, you see her one projectile is a fire projectile. Her basics and her two are water. Her um, or her basics and her three, I'm sorry, are water. It's a water pool, and her ultimate is a air swirling rocks tornado. Um, so you get all four elements in in the Korra kit. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I have a special request for Pawn after he does the VXG. I'd like to see the, the death animation for this skin because I heard about it. And... <laughs> yeah, so that was Cora's... Uh... Oh, no! There she goes. Oh, so, um, shout out to so Zaheer. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, again, we tried to take references as much as we can from the show. And not only are we huge Avatar Last Airbender fans, we're huge Cora fans, too. Um, and I love Cora so much. Allie, again, she was point on Cora. Uh, she has so much passion and love for this show. And we actually found that specific part from the show is a little bit darker. If you guys know Zaheer is an airbender that gets really strong. And he actually like causes Cora to have this kind of mental bending crisis. Um, so her death animation represents that. It's is a reference to that time where um, she kind of lost it all. <laughs> So the Legend uh, of Korra we... show is got a you know some very emotional themes to it. I remember watching that. It's there's it's scary, you know. Yeah, definitely. It's funny too because when we were working on Korra, especially, a lot of folks were like, "Oh my gosh, that's so dark." <laughs> we're like, yeah, oh, right. I mean, it's Korra. <laughs> Korra's a little bit different than <laughs> yeah. Cool. Then then the first um, show, yeah. All right, and as Pawn is uh, jumping around, showing off that Team <laughs> Avatar jump stamp, let's take a couple of listens to the uh, the voice back here. My mission will always be to use Rava's light spirit to guide the world toward peace and balance. 
Unless you want to be Naga's afternoon snack, you better back off. That is Coruscati for you guys. Again, I'm super excited for this one, but we've got one more. The uh, the main yeah. attraction, as I would like <laughs> to say, my favorite. I'm a Merlin main and now. We've got Aang Merlin coming to the battleground. And as we show Ooh. the card art and the turnaround, and I'll kind of let you talk about what went into Aang, because apparently we, we started from scratch pretty much for this new skin. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm still, I still can't get over that Janet Varney's in our game, so I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so so much went into Aang. He, we tried to use as much as we could for Zuko and Scotty, while also making sure it fit that their their characters um, from the show. But Aang, since he's such a different size than Merlin, we had to completely build him from the scratch up. He is definitely like we were like AJ said we were referring to him pretty much as God tier. Um, all of his animations are new. And uh, shout outs to Brock who was animation point on Aang. He did such an amazing job, and definitely the passion from the entire team uh, across the board, not just the animation team, really shows on so many of his animations. Again, please look for those little references we puffered in because it's just we had so much fun doing it. <laughs> Um, so this, this is turnaround a animation. Here. <laughs> yeah, this is actually by our animator Victoria. She's using that water rig I talked about. Um, this is kind of one of the first uh, water bending moves that Katara teaches Aang. Um, she kind of took reference from that to put it in there. This is so good. I cannot wait to see it in game. Yes. <laughs> And all, all of these characters just have so much depth to them that we, we can't even show absolutely everything. When you when you start playing them for real, you'll get to feel it. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, this yeah. does like, touch this upon, a... shoot some more basics, please. <laughs> yeah, the, the basics, basics are awesome. That is one of my favorite things about, um, about Aang. I believe it was Sean, and I'm sorry if I... Um, got that mixed up on our on our animation team that did those but they they're honestly one of my favorite basic attack sets in our game they just feel really fluid and they're fun to fire off <laughs> i don't know i just really like those and so um right. ang fit merlin well in our mind we really tried to focus on each of these characters when we making our decisions around their combat and their magic and their powers what fits best so as an avatar ang has the mastery over multiple elements so does merlin so here you'll see his um arcane stance with the with the swirling ability and the pull has been pivoted to air the fire is fire and ice is water and earth is reflected in his passive stim which can um, buff his own basic attacks so you see all four elements here and you see that iconic pose on the stance change that is such an amazing effects and animation treatment it's beautiful Oh, that's so yeah, good. definitely. And then uh, Pond was kind of showing it off earlier, but on the uh, fire stance too, uh, we actually ch completely changed the models for the dragons. Yeah, right so... there to. Um... Oh yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, AJ. That's fine. Uh, you know better about the show than I do about animation, but they are referencing <laughs> the uh, legendary fire bending dragons. Essentially, the the in in the Avatar universe, there is a, a creature that essentially bestowed bend, each bending element to humans, and these are the uh, referencing the fire dragons that helped establish all fire bending in that universe. For sure. Yeah. Um, all right. It looks Don, like we've seen all the abilities. Went... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just want to say, like, John went above and beyond on those dragons. Like, that was something that kind of came in in the last minute. Um, and he was like, yeah, I can do it. <laughs> and they look so cool. Um, Love this the iconic air scooters, the VXG. Yeah. It's so good. Pon, can you hit us with the recall when you, whenever you get a second? Yes. Yeah, so air gotta have the glider. <laughs> gotta have the glider in there. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's perfect. And uh, oh, one more jump. special request, the clap emote. I know Anna put in a we, lot of We should have looked at the, the waves the and claps team. and stuff for all of these ones. Oh, no, he doesn't have oh, it. Oh, no. He doesn't oh, have it. Okay. Slash, well, he does emotes. the... Slash all emotes. You can't all emotes it? You can cheat that now. Does it work on them? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, okay. that'll just be a, a fun surprise for you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, as you guys can see, a ton of work went into all the abilities, all the animations, like we said earlier. All the emotes are done. New victory, defeat screens, 
team put in so much work and we're so excited to have this. Cool. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a listen to the Ang Merlin voice pack. Have you ever rode on the hopping llamas? Or surfed on a giant koi fish? What about the hog monkeys? Man, what do you do for fun around here? If you want to be a bender, you have to let go of fear. That is the voice pack for Ang Merlin. And before we head on to talk about the prestige track, uh, we do want to show off just a couple of the other cosmetics that you'll get as a part of the battle pass. Looks like Pawn has already got some wards equipped and a global emote and stuff. Of course, we had to include your boy Appa into the game. So <laughs> there'll be a ward skin for Appa and Naga, I believe, as well as a ton of other jump stamps and global emotes. Appa. <laughs> there we go. He is there. <laughs> Spinning around, having a good time. <laughs> they really show no fear. And then we've got and the Robin the... Batu Deathmark from Korra. Yes, it's so cool. <laughs> They're both gonna need a hospital. All right, and I think the only other thing we haven't seen is the global emote. My cabbages. <laughs> My cabbages. <laughs> so, Shout outs so to happy. the unlucky cabbage vendor. <laughs> There's apparently going to be some additional audio for that global emote that's still being worked on in dev, but tons of awesome content in this battle pass. Let's get right into the prestige track. So like I said earlier, the battle pass is going to have a premium track for 750 gems. And then once you complete the premium track, you unlock the prestige track for free. That way you can keep on grinding and unlock more rewards. And uh, the first skin from the prestige track that we want to show off is Blue Spirit Susano. Yeah, so cool. This one looks so, again, so cool. Shout out to, yeah, to Casey and uh, Anna for doing this card art. Oh, I, it's actually my computer background right now because it's so cool. <laughs> um, oh, everything that went into these is really fun. <laughs> there we go. And all the models for all these skins just look so clean. So that one's going to come your way as a part of the prestige track. And I know you were saying that this one almost didn't make the cut. <laughs> yeah, and you yeah, we actually, and yeah, we initially weren't going to do um, skin another skin for Zuko. And a bunch of us on the team were like, hang on, uh, we need the blue spirit in there because it's really, really cool. <laughs> and plus, I think the cool thing about him is that it, if you're not an Avatar fan, it's Still a really cool skin. Um, yeah. He's like a ninja with a cool mask on. Mm -hmm. But I think for those Avatar fans, like, sorry for the spoiler, <laughs> but it, it, it is kind <laughs> of a huge part of Zuko's character as well. And heck yeah, I'm so excited that we got him in the game. <laughs> um, for sure. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next skin in the Prestige track. It's Avatar Korra, Scotty. And uh, this is her once she embraces Rava and is in her Avatar state. Yes, this is my other wallpaper on my other monitor. <laughs> uh, it's like, yeah, I, got, I had to have two. <laughs> Cool. Oh, so beautiful. And just as a note here, so these uh, prestige track skins are kind of like T2 versions of the base skins in the track. So no new additional effects or anything, but we've updated the models significantly. Yeah, and this is uh, Korra's like later in the show um, look where, you know, she goes through that crisis I was talking about with Zaheer and then cuts her hair off and kind of finds herself again and then just ends up becoming this ultimate powerful avatar. Um, so we really wanted to show that off in the game. Plus, like, Raba just looks really cool. So that oh, yeah. on Korra is just bonus. I know it only happens, like, briefly in the show, but mm. we, we, went, we went with it. <laughs> I, I right. love the attention to detail the team gave towards the show. These small moments, these big moments, they're all represented here. The people, when we announced this, people were like, cabbages, we need the cabbages. Like, they thought we would never do it. Come on. We were way ahead of that. We had oh, cabbages yeah. ready to go from day one. Come on. Yes. Got to believe oh gosh, in the animation. Cabbages. <laughs> well, the whole team. Yeah, the cabbage guy, actually, one of the, the, art, the card arts that Casey pitched had the cabbages guy, and Aang was just, like, flying through and knocking the cabbage guy back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the, uh, the last skin in the Prestige track, 
Avatar Aang Merlin, and this is Aang in his Avatar state towards uh, the uh, end of Book Three, where he has his iconic fight with the Fire Lord. One of my favorite mm-hmm. moments from any TV show or movie or game ever uh, was this fight. Oh my gosh! So I just epic. love how strong <laughs> and powerful he looks. Oh, it's so good. Definitely. Here we go. There he is. So, a cool thing about this skin... I'm sorry, Isaiah, go ahead. No, go ahead, Anna. I was just gonna... I was gonna mention that scar on his back. um, Because that's, you know, he gets hit with the lightning for the first time and kind of like Cora knocks him out of commission. So, John went in there, our modeler, and put that scar on his back. And also, you really... I don't know if you'll ever get to see it, but it is on his foot as well. We did pay (laughs) close enough attention. (laughs) Um, yeah it's super it's awesome there. all the attention to detail that scar when i first saw it i was like no he's got the scar from his run in with azula it's crazy definitely but yeah wow so that wraps it up oh. for our avatar battle pass section <laughs> Tons and tons of work went into these skins. There's tons of awesome content. I want to pass it to Anna really quick because I know she has some people that she wants to shout out because this was a tremendous effort from multiple people on the team. Yeah, um, so I, I've kind of peppered in a few names here and there, but this was one of the first times we had the opportunity to kind of, we've been calling it a strike team, have a smaller team of people kind of stepping up and becoming creative leads on a project, um, myself included, which Oh my gosh, like, uh, I'm going to faint. Um, I just want to make sure those people get credit where credit is due. Uh, so shout out to our art director and concept artist, Mark Ross. Austin was a producer with the help of our producer, Ashley. Um, he also did all of the effects for all the skins and some of like the cosmetics for the global emotes and everything like that. Um, huge shout out to John for modeling. He like I said before, he went above and beyond and did those dragons. And oh, I just, I love seeing Naga and she just looks so perfect, just like Naga. Pamela and Lindsay from our rigging team were so wonderful to work with, uh, especially for animation back and forth with them a lot. Um, Brock and Allie were points on Aang and Korra. And then I was point on Zuko. I'm not gonna shout myself out because they deserve a lot more credit than I do. Um, DJ Jeff Chris from our tech art team helped to you know, bring everything from everywhere and put it all together. Um, and then Casey and Anna C did the card arts. Oh, beautiful. Noah, Andrea, and Chad did the audio. Uh, Jen from our, she's our Smite marketing producer. She really had a huge hand in making sure that we could communicate with Nickelodeon, uh, make sure everything was up to par with them. And then also like sending the little things that we've done to them and hearing their response was really exciting. Uh, Brett in the Alacrity team, Anna, Renee, Thomas, and Kalani did the 2D intro in the cinematic, and that was like, is that from the show? Um, Trevor, the VP of Business Development. We would not have had this project without Trevor, so huge shout out to him. Uh, Tina did the writing and the voice acting, and then AJ, thank you so much for being the game design consultant. Uh, We needed your help on some of those moments for sure. And then Ben, our Smite art director, he was there the whole step of the way, making sure things would fit in our game as well. And then just a special special thank you like to the support of the leads and the managers and just the entire Titan Forge team. Everybody like really came together to make sure that these skins were something that we were all really proud of and really were something that would represent the show um, as much as like we love the show. <laughs> we want it to be super cool in our game. So yeah, definitely. Shout out to everybody. the special um, Avatar Super Fan Council, which we created amongst the studio. Yes. Even for Definitely. people outside the Smite team, we created a, a like a special, uh, a smaller strike team of people who are really into Avatar fandom to be our go-to point on asking questions, on helping us decide which characters to choose and how to make them fit into the kits. Like uh, they were super um, helpful, Stephanie and Gabby from the uh, video teams, especially. Thank you so much to them. And everyone else who just shared their voices and playtest the characters um, yes. and helped us iterate through this pro- process. We start. I, I went back and checked this because people were asking. The first email I have in my work email about this project started in last November, beginning of it. I've been working on these characters for eight months. Um, that's longer than we work on most gods. And it was a huge effort from the whole team. And so I'm just really happy with how it's turned out. It's really amazing. So thank you to all those people that have been animation just listed. 
for sure. Shout outs to the entire team. Thank you so much to the community. Your excitement has been electric amongst the studio. That We're too, excited that, that you're excited. Thanks so much for tuning in. 